Hey guys, welcome back. I figured I'd give you a little bit of a status update on the 59 Impala. I put the fuses in the fuse panel. Um, I found out that this wire is not being fed with power, so I temporarily ran a jumper wire from here to the power of the battery, which what I'll do is I will grab power from this relay here that I put in and this uh, circuit breaker for the cooling fan. I ran an electric cooling fan in there. Um, so I'm going to grab power from there and power this wire because this regulator is not being used anymore because this is a alternator, not a generator anymore because we changed the power steering setup. This wire is not going to be used. So I'm just going to fold that back and tape it in. Um, this is our gauge for our gauges voltage meter. This is power and that's ground to the housing. Um, so I was missing the um, dimmer switch for the headlights. I ordered one yesterday from uh, AutoZone that came in. So now I have headlights. Um, it's on high beam right now. But we have headlights. Um, we do have tail lights. I don't have the bulbs into the housing yet because I need to adjust the housings over. But we have the bulbs here. So if you take one of these bulbs and hold it up to the bolt here, you can see it'll light up because the housing grounds the bulbs. So I know that we have headlights, tail lights, we have brake lights. Um, the hazards are working, so we have the hazard lights. Um, so far, that's it. Uh, nothing on the windshield wiper motor yet, nothing on the blower motor, and the key is not doing anything for the starter. Now, I'm almost wondering on the starter if I put the wires on backwards because... I, um, it's very hard to see underneath there. Um, you really can't tell. And I went off of this wiring diagram here. Let me see if I can find the starter real quick. Um, let me look for the starter for a minute. Okay, here's the starter motor here. Here's a solenoid that's attached to it. Um, I think there, this is the dark green wire. And I might have that opposite of where it needs to go. Here's a violet wire, which I don't really understand why this violet wire is coming into the here and not showing it. On this side over here, this is for a... This looks like a six-cylinder setup. And this is the starter solenoid here. And it has a violet wire on the S side. And it has a white wire on the R side. And then the battery cable is coming to the, the big one, big terminal. So I might have those two backwards. So I guess I'm going to crawl underneath the car and swap those two and then hit the key and see if it at least turns the starter. Also, I am missing the um, neutral safety switch wires underneath the dash. There are none. Um, I do have a neutral safety switch on the column. Uh, there should be a purple wire that goes into it and a purple wire that comes out of it. But that's easy to fix because what I can do is I can take the purple wire from the starter that goes inside the, under the dash. I can cut it, run it into the one side of the neutral safety switch, out of the other side of the neutral safety switch into the um, key. And what that'll do then is that'll operate that switch to where um, when it's in park, it'll be closed. The two terminals, we'll call it two terminals inside the switch, will be closed together, which will let it start. When it's in reverse, first, second, and drive, it'll be in the open position where it won't let it start. I want to make sure that that works because, you know, nowadays you don't want a kid jumping in your car and turning the key and, you know, it being in gear and it's starting. So um, you got to make sure you have that stuff working. So not too concerned with that. I'm pretty positive I can get that to work. So I guess I'm going to crawl under there. I haven't really been able to video anything because everything's been under the dash and under the car. And I obviously, there's no way I'm going to be able to get underneath there. And everything is filled with dust right now, but I'm not worried about it. We'll clean it off after. So let me try to switch those two wires. I'll come back and I'll see if it works. Okay, I went under the dash and I verified that the purple wire, when I turn the key to the start position, it lights up the purple wire. So it sends power down the purple wire. 
So I'm pretty confident I might be backwards on those two terminals on the starter. So now I'm gonna go under there and try to switch them around, which is gonna be real fun. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be what it is or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Because I can't read the lettering on the solenoid underneath there. So I can't read which one says S and which one says the whatever other letter there is. So I'm gonna go under there, do that, and then I'll come back. Okay, I was under the car. I took the green wire off of the starter solenoid and it was to the R, which is right. So the purple wire is on the S terminal, which is correct. The uh, green wire, I don't know if I necessarily need, but I hooked it back up because that ties in with this white resistor wire here in the coil. So I don't know if I need that or not. So basically I have that purple wire somewhere under that dashboard, that purple wire is cut because one side needs to go to the one side of the neutral safety switch, the other side needs to go to the other. So I guess I'm going back under the dashboard and I'm gonna root around and see, I'm gonna to try to trace that purple wire and see where the heck they cut it at. I don't know why they would have cut it or cut the end off, but somebody did something with it and I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna go back under there and see if I can find out where it's disconnected at. Okay, I found the problem. On any newer car, you know, from, probably 60s up you can only plug a plug in one direction on this 59 i had this plug upside down this plug right here can go this direction or 180 degrees and plug in so the purple wire is plugging into nothing so i flipped that around by flipping that around um the starter kicks on now the windshield wipers now work um so let's see what we got here so I'll turn the key to the on position first and the windshield wipers have come on. I don't want to wipe them too many times because of the, uh, but you, so those work. So we have wipers. They're new wipers at least. The starter does kick on. So we have starter. Um, not gonna have a horn yet because I think I got something screwed up in the steering column for that. Um, this car does not have a neutral safety switch wiring which means that this car at one point was a stick shift. It was probably a three on the tree because a stick shift wouldn't have that wire. So I am going to get that wire under that dash. I'm going to strip it out of the harness. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it into the neutral safety switch so that this car cannot be started in gear. Um, so basically now what I need to do is I need to run a power wire. I need to get these powered. So I need to run power to this. Um, I might just leave this as is and add another red wire and hook it down here to the circuit breaker. Um, that would probably be the easiest way. So then that'll give that power. Um, then I need to hook up this red wire coming from the distributor. I got to double check, but this red wire coming out of the distributor, because this is an updated distributor, there's no points in it. So this red wire, I believe, goes to ground on the coil which is down here, the negative side. I have to double check, but I'm pretty positive that's where that goes. Um, ballast resistor, we're not using, I'm just leaving it on there. Um, so after I do that and that wiring, I'm gonna fix that neutral safety switch. I need to change this wire here. This has to go to here, which is the temperature gauge. I need to put a different end on there and I need to lengthen it. So that'll go to the temperature wire or temperature uh, thingy gauge um and i think i'm mostly done with the uh wiring i think you know i don't have the turn signals in or anything the lower parking lights and stuff these are in but the backs aren't in yet stuff like that um trying to think there's anything else uh there's no fuel yet so basically what we'll probably do is uh we'll probably pull the distributor spin the Spin the oil pump. It's been primed already, but we might spin it again, and then we'll probably uh, crank it without fuel first, and then add some fuel and see if we can get the fire off. Um, I got to put coolant in it still. There's a lot I need to do still. Needs power steering fluid. Got to make sure I put power steering fluid in before I even start it, because those pumps will blow out. I've done that before. I've had one low before, and I started it started whining. By the time I turned it off and filled it up, it it shot the pump. But anyways, we are getting somewhere. Not really much to video yet because, you know, I'm crawling all over the place trying to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to call it a night. 
I'm just happy I got it to where it's at right now. So, all right, guys, that's going to be the end of the 59 for tonight. We're getting real close to starting this thing. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Other than that, I'll probably, well, I will see you tomorrow night. I'm going to be working on the 64 body when I get home from work. It's an earlier day tomorrow. So when I get home, I want to start welding those quarter panels. And the paint is supposed to show up tomorrow for the 64. So I want to at least try to get one quarter panel welded up on the 64 tomorrow and then maybe i'll come back to this and and work on tidying up these uh wires and my buddy he's a he's an old timer he's a retired gm tech and uh he worked on cars like this in the late 50s 60s and he's gonna come and help me start this for the first time and i'm gonna ask him if he's all right with me filming him some people are a little weird like that especially older guys they don't really want to do that but i hope that he's all right with it so that you guys can actually see this thing fire for the first time um but other than that i think that's it guys thanks for watching i appreciate all the subscribers if you guys wouldn't mind sharing maybe i can get some more subscribers and get this to a thousand subscribers like my other channel just hit 1200 today my arcade channel so that's doing well as that's doing well so i appreciate everybody's comments likes and everything so you guys have a good night and i will see you tomorrow